Hello and welcome. In this short lecture, you'll learn more about body-centered cubic crystals and also how these crystals can be visualized using the VESTA program. Here's an outline. First, we will derive the relationship between the unit cell length and the atomic radius for BCC structures. Second, we will derive the atomic packing factor for, again, body-centered cubic structures. And then we will visualize ferrite, which is a common allotrope of iron, the alpha phase of iron, in Vesta, and we'll see that it is actually a BCC packed structure. So some examples of body-centered materials or, or metals that, that are used in engineering include chromium, iron, and tantalum. What we first want to notice is that the reason why it's called body center is because there's one atom in the center of the unit cell. So again, there's one complete atom, and in total, there's actually two atoms within this unit cell because you have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the one in the rear, this, that's eight. So there's eight atoms on each corner. However, each individual atom on the corner is shared between a total of eight unit cells. So that means for that one atom has to be divided by eight. So if you wanted to know how many atoms are there in total within the unit cell, it is equal to two. How do you get that? Well, first you add the one atom in the body, plus you add the eight corner atoms. However, you must multiply by one eighth because again, each atom is shared between eight unit cells. So once you do this calculation, you'll see it's just one plus one, which is equal to two atoms within the unit cell of the body-centered cubic. So now let's derive the relationship between the lattice parameter length, which is for a cubic cell, it's the length of each side of the cube. And the length is actually the same. We'll call that A. The radius of the atom is equal to R. So to better visualize how we relate these two parameters, let me redraw the unit cell. One thing that you'll notice is that there is contact among the diagonal of the unit cell. So if you focus on this corner here, and the opposite corner here, you'll see that there's a diagonal that goes across in which all the atoms are actually touching. So if you were to represent that in this unit cell, so this diagonal can be represented by this line here. Okay, we're meeting from one corner to the other. And this diagonal line can be projected onto the bottom plane here, okay? So what you'll see is, a, is actually a triangle with 90 degrees. And if I, if I were to project that onto the screen, it will look like this, where the height of the triangle is equal to the lattice parameter length. The diagonal which goes across the unit cell, we'll call that C. This base length here, we'll call it B. But if you actually look at the bottom face, the bottom face, that, that lattice parameter B is actually the diagonal of the base, which remember, one length of the base is A, the other length of the base is A, and so the, the uh, diagonal length is equal to b. So to get b, we, if we recall Pythagorean theorem, b squared is equal to a squared plus a squared, okay? Where b is equal to the square root of 2a squared, which again, b is equal to the square root of 2 times a. Now that we know b, we can now plug it into this triangle and Next, we find what C is, which is the diagonal length. So C is equal to A squared plus B squared. And we found that 
b squared is equal to the square root of 2a, all that squared. Forgot my squared there. So c squared is equal to a squared plus 2a squared after you, you expand. And if you combine it, this is equal to 3a squared. Now let's solve for c. c is equal to the square root of 3a squared, which is equal to the square root of 3 times a. So in terms of the, the, the diagonal, you'll find that the diagonal length from one atom here to the other in terms of its parameter length is the square root of 3 times a. Now one thing, one thing that, that I mentioned before is these atoms along these diagonals uh, are connected, right? They, they, they make contact. So it's equal to atoms, it's equal to 2, 4, to, to 4 r. So we know that c is equal to 4 r, which is related to the distance in terms of its parameter length a. And now we can find the relationship between the lattice parameter in terms of its radius by solving for a. So a is equal to 4 over the square root of 3 times the radius. Now we will derive the atomic packing factor for the body center cubic. So from before, we concluded that the lattice parameter length is equal to 4 times the radius over root 3. Okay, now let's remember that, let's find out how many total atoms are within the unit cell. We have one body atom plus eight corner atoms, which are again shared between eight other, or a total of eight unit cells. This will give us two atoms. And again, we represent the atoms as spheres, and the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if we, if we just calculate the numerator of the atomic, atomic packing factor, we get two atoms times the volume of one atom, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed, divided by the total unit cell volume. Well, remember the unit cell, the edge length is equal to A. So the volume is equal to A cubed. From here, we plug in the relationship between the lattice parameter and the radius. simplify even further and plug in the 4r over root 3 cubed we get 8 pi r cubed 4 to the third r cubed square root of 3 to the third power and what you'll see is that the r cubes cancel the root 3 goes on top once you plug in this expression into your calculator you'll see that the atomic packing factor is approximately equal to 0 0.68. Now if you multiply by 100%, you'll see that the atoms occupy about 68% of the unit cell. Let's take a look at how ferrite or alpha iron looks like in the VESTA program. So let me just first get out of the slideshow here. Let's discard that. Go to the desktop. Here, uh, let me open up my program. And then I'm gonna drag and drop my ferrite
as you can see, this is ferrite and it's body center. Why? Because you have one atom in the center, the body, and then you have eight corner atoms. And let's quickly look at the space filling configuration or the style. So that concludes our lecture. We derived the relationship between the lattice parameter and the atomic radius for a body-centered unit cell. We also calculated the atomic packing factor of body-centered cubic. And finally, we visualized a body-centered cubic atom, more specifically ferrite, using the VESTA program.